Hello home bakers and welcome to Dr Mummy Cake's channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a very fun ingredient that will really make your cakes look realistic. I'm going to be showing you how to make edible water, just like I have here in the lake in my cake. Edible water is so easy to make. But before we go on, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. So these are the ingredients we need to make edible water. Lemon juice, a third of a cup of granulated sugar, as well as some corn flour. You will also need measuring cups and measuring spoon for measuring your ingredients. Full details of the quantities you need are in the description box. You'll also need a pot. So pour the sugar into the pot. Next, add your lemon juice and then you're going to add the corn flour so for the lemon juice we're using a total of half a cup of lemon juice you'll notice in this video i actually used a quarter cup but i'm using two of them which is equal to half a cup and that's just because i couldn't find my half cup uh, measuring cup next we're going to add one tablespoon of corn flour into the mixture and use your measuring um, spoon to uh, mix it so that the corn flour uh, dissolves uh, into the sugar and the lemon juice uh, flavor. Next, put it on the hob. You want to put it on to medium heat and basically you want to heat it up until the mixture becomes clear. So if you notice that there is still some uh, corn flour um, that is not dissolved, you can again use your measuring um, spoon to just gently swirl it around and mix things up so that the corn flour properly dissolves uh, into the water mixture. And we're just going to heat it up. As you heat it up, you will start to see that the colours changes from a cloudy mixture to become quite um, translucent. And you might want to uh, mix up things every so often stirring it up so that it doesn't boil over um, or burn. Now I sped up the video so that you can see the process uh, how it starts to happen and you can see a few times I'm just uh, mixing it to make sure uh, that it's nice and combined and as you go along you'll start to see that it becomes more and more translucent. Once it starts to bubble over your solution is ready and you've just got to leave it to cool down before you use it in your cake. One key thing um, is to make sure that the solution has cooled down before use. And also to get that realistic water effect, you want to have something blue underneath. Because remember, your edible water is transparent. So you can see here I've used um, fondant, blue fondant on my base so that that colour blue reflect, reflects up and it looks just like a lake. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. If you were doing a swimming pool, you'd want to have a sort of bluey green uh, colouring underneath so that it looks like real water. And you can use a spatula just to create sort of uh, waves and little movements so it looks really like water. Um, so there you have it, edible water, perfect for um, jazzing up and making your cakes look realistic. And it doesn't taste too bad. It tastes very lemony, like a lemony syrup, uh, and it does not destroy the taste of your cake. Although I wouldn't advise you to take too much of it. So thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed my videos. Please click the subscribe button and turn on all notifications. I will see you next week. Happy baking. Bye.